Welcome to Fiddly Diddly. No, we're not in Fiddly Diddly yet. We're on the road to Fiddly Diddly, which for some reason goes through this hospital. Actually, no. Story-wise, our character doesn't even know about Fiddling Green yet. Why are we going to Fiddling Green? What, we're not what going we... to Fiddling Green, we're going outside this hospital. Oh, sweet! A new melee weapon! <laughs> It's being guarded by its keeper! <laughs> Can't God, use I axes hate. anymore, he's like... Yeah, he's dead. He's not the kind of zombie that can use an axe, but he saw that certain zombies could, but unfortunately he's got the crippling bone problems that stop him from using a fire axe effectively. Well, he could have gone on that wheelchair. Snake, have you seen Prometheus? I have not seen Prometheus. <laughs> Prometheus, they have the weirdest fucking looking axe. There's like a weird fucking twirly part in it, it's just weird. Like, it seems like it's more meant for, uh, combat, I guess, and like, why would you ever have an axe on a spaceship to begin with? What the- I don't get it. I oh, well, you see, you can't- you, you can't open bulkheads by turning a valve. You've gotta axe the bulkheads. Oh. I, I don't- I don't know. Prometheus fucking suck. Well, this- this game has regular axes, and it most definitely doesn't suck. As you can see from this gameplay, you can probably tell that this was probably, in its time, at least an 11 out of 10. No paid reviews. They hadn't been invented yet. <laughs> there have always been paid oh. reviews, man. Oh, this is bad. This is bad, Nuna. Do you see the zombies have fiddle diddled us into a corner? They've played us like a damn fiddle! Oh god, that line is so good. Robin Atkin Downs, he knows how to he knows how to play the audience like a fiddle. Oh, it's unlocked now, that's great. Haha! -ha, I have escaped the hospital. Uh, I have played those zombies for fools. you could you say that uh you fiddled them? <laughs> uh, Oh, so that was a bust. I probably shouldn't try and save people anymore. There was a police station nearby. Fuck you, man. Some serious firepower there. Well, at least he's got a sound idea, but doesn't wouldn't he think that everyone would have looted the goddamn police station by now? Let's go from oh. place to place. Let's fucking take the most basic of zombie uh, plots and just move from place to place. That'll work. No. No, no, we're not. We never actually get to Fiddler's Green. We do eventually, but he gets in a police station. It explodes, and he says, "Well, I saw a grocery market nearby. I better stock up on some food." And then he goes, "Hmm, but there's going to be Are you mu telling I need me music. the whole fucking game. I want to keep some of it a surprise." Okay, I won't spoil. I won't spoil his super cool ideas. Oh, it's time for a new type of zombie. These zombies vomit on you. Does the vomit hurt you? Oh yeah. That's great. It's dead now. Oh damn, look at- it's a box of medical stuff. It's, no, we just rub the box on us and feel good. <clears throat> That's how it happens in every video game. Yeah. Man, this game has implemented some amnesia level fucking, uh... Gameplay. I know, we should be scare camming this shit for the maximum impact, but... No, let's just ignore that bookshelf. I watched a review and someone called Amnesia's like, uh... A ability to like carry stuff and open shelves, groundbreaking. It was like, what? <laughs> well, you see, <laughs> were they five? The fuck? Okay, we got a shotgun. It's the worst shotgun in a video game ever. Are you sure, Great. man? I'm certain. You'll see. Oh, that's what the puke does. Awful. And also, it's the exact same model. Nick, I'm pretty sure you've already called a shotgun the worst shotgun in a video game before. And what the fuck is going on? That was in. That was in on. Oh. Well, the zombie's got an idea, but just not an effective one. So, are you gonna answer my uh, question? It was in unearthed. I think I called that shotgun the worst shotgun ever, and then I played this, and I was like, "No, that shotgun's effective." Oh man, it's like it was like a chicken all along. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that looks effective there, but didn't you notice her leg exploded? Do you notice her arms exploded? It goes everywhere but where you want it to go. For better or worse, I suppose. 
it's like so sometimes it can just really fuck you up because its spread is so bizarre and what the fuck it's like it's like have all these ideas in a video game and let's not implement them in any real way <laughs> Uh, yeah, what's the what is the purpose of having a zombie do this? Because this zombie needs to be completely dead before it will let me progress beyond this section. <laughs> but no, let them just wriggle themselves out, even though that's not how zombies work. <laughs> that zombie just got tuckered out and then had to despawn. <laughs> oh, that was one hell of an axe pull. So, so I just could explode them. So what's the next shitty zombie game we're playing? Um, well you see, this is the year of the zombie, so we're going to be playing every zombie game ever made. Zombie? Oh. Yeah, I, I just made that up, we're not actually doing that, but that's besides the point. How do you feel that the, uh, the zombie thing isn't just like a gimmick now, it's literally a genre? It's like a uh, drama, comedy, action, zombie. You, yeah, you just tap zombie. Well, it's kind of like you tap it onto the end of any other genre. It's like, hey, we can have a rom, a romantic comedy with zombies. <clears throat> and Shaun the Dead happened, and it was great, but that's besides the point. I don't know. I like. I actually really like zombies. I'm not completely tired of the fucking things yet. I might so be I'm tired of zombies because I've been doing a lot of fucking zombie things. Like, walking uh, around a mall, walking around the city, doing this commentary, doing other You're... commentaries, writing How my many... review. Yeah, that's from Spider-Man 2, that's only a zombie of a game. No, it makes me feel like a zombie. Oh. Oh, it's that cliche, it's this cliche and their phone doesn't work. <laughs> what the Man. fuck? That is static. Quality. It's so good. And one person doesn't look like a zombie. Oh, it does. Never mind. Fuck. I'm just exploring that really shitty hotel room. Oh, well. Just shooting a porno that went too wrong. Too mm. fast. Too hard. I wouldn't stay here, frankly. All the windows are smashed. There's bullets on the bathroom floor. Just fucking bull. What? Why? I, d I don't- I couldn't tell you. There seems to only be three root no, two rooms, because this is a fucking ammunition dump with Molotov- Oh, hey, and there's zombies in the closet! Sneaky zombies, hiding behind the doors! Oh, and then I just noticed I was picking up the fucking axe and hammer repeatedly. Mm. It also fucks physics in this room, I don't like that. Let's Wait. just leave this zombie to our business. This close countered oh. shit. Did not oh. leave that zombie to her business. I didn't leave that zombie to her business. This close counters walking around is kind of making me feel nauseated. How did you it's fucking... It's the, f the field of view in this game kind of feels pulled in, which is uh, it's hard to look at. Yeah, this game actually did make me dizzy while playing it, so... Yeah, that's why it's the worst shotgun ever. Did you see that? Works at least... I don't know, works like 60% of the time. But I don't need 60% of the time. I need more than that. Do, do, do. I need more. Ooh, Spider-Man bullshit happening here. Don't worry, the loading screen caught us. Hey, did you know the Awakened Dead remember parts of their living experiences? Thank you, loading screen zombie. <laughs> he tells us a it's lot. It's really stupid. <laughs> oh. No, he's the best character. No, the fucking part that they remember some part of their fucking lives. Like, what? Oh, well, actually, uh, do you want me to, you don't, you're never gonna watch Land, the Land of the Dead movie, are you? Probably not. Okay, well, the whole big point about that movie was that the zombies were getting more intelligent. And at the end of the movie, like, after fucking rampaging through the city, one of the zombies is just like, Nah, man, this ain't worth it. And all the zombies just leave. They just walk away. <laughs> And then one of the zombies picks up a gun and learns how to use it, and yeah. That's really it's kind fucking of weird. It's great. That movie is great, and really stupid. Um, after this part, I'm gonna make lunch. So You're gonna enjoy it. It's, uh, it's, uh, I don't really have anything to really make lunch out of, so it's just gonna be okay. 
Oh. And then I'm gonna head back to writing my fucking review. Though this I... commentary has not given me a more spirit to write my review, I am currently in the middle of my hourly writer's block. Oh yeah, everyone has that. And this game probably won't help you, if anything it is probably removing ideas from your brain. This game isn't ideas rich. It's not a mentally invigorating experience. It's more like you just look at the kind of crab walker zombie here and just go, Burr. Snake, you're not giving me any reasons to continue doing this commentary this moment. Dude, why would I pretend that there are reasons to do this? We're just here, in this moment, and I talked you into talking over a really, really average zombie game that was made before average zombie games were even a thing. It's really impressive. This is one of the progenitors, and it, and people should have probably looked at us and thought, "Nah, this ain't going nowhere." But they did anyway, and they made it work. It's going everywhere. It's going everywhere where I never wanted to go. It's going everywhere, Man, but really was slowly. Was that a fucking school locker room? Was that a boomer? Yeah. Okay. Did, yeah. Did, did fucking yeah. Did, did did Valve? No, no, Valve was not who like started. Okay. Let me, let me uh, get my grounding here before I continue to say something. There were big fat zombies and shit like House of the Dead. Which is a way funner zombie game. It's Man, got way it better feels voice like Valve's fucking uh, weird ass zombies they put in Left 4 Dead 2 weren't that original to begin with. But they just did, but the difference is they did them right. Should play. Uh, what's that new game that the developers of Left 4 Dead 1 are doing? They're doing a new game. Yeah, it's, Man, this, it's this like is news to me. It's like uh, you play as four people, and there's like monsters, and one person gets to control a really big monster that gets bigger every chapter. It's news to me. Keep up with the times. No, I'll stay in my own times playing shitty games from 2004 or 5. Fight me. So how's that Spider-Man 1 recording going? Well, you interrupted it so that we could do this shit, so either way, this day on the whole has been rather shitty. I'm recording it on a PS2 emulator, as so though there's, like, sound lag, which makes Peter sound hilarious at times. Spider-Man is out of their jurisdiction. Yeah, things like that. Isn't it riveting how they made us play every step of this guy's journey? He's like a boring hillbilly Gordon Freeman. But with no HGV suit and even less personality. Man, streets of random city sure are as memorable as Black Mesa. I know. Well, like, who fucking laid out this back alley, and how many streets are we going in between exactly? It's like the widest fucking lot of buildings between two streets ever. And for some reason there was a hotel back here. It's like, I'm no fucking ingraining into this my- We're ingraining this to, into our heads. This is never gonna yeah. go away, it's gonna be always in there. Taking I mean, up we might space. not, like, remember exactly what happened, it's always gonna be in there in some form. You know, when you think about it that way, this whole thing seems like a waste of memory space in our brains. There is no memory space, there's just time until we die. You're a bit of a downer, you know that. I'm Robert Downey Jr. No, just a bit of a downer, not a downy. And not a downy in that sense either. I'm are, you not... are you saying that I have Down Syndrome? No, that's the exact opposite of what I'm saying. How is having a Down Syndrome and being a downer opposites of each other? You know, I was just thinking that when I said it and I knew you was going to bring that up. How did you know I was going to bring that up? Do we know each other really that well? Probably. We're becoming predictable. we got to shake things up right now. Hey guys, welcome to End of the Dead! Isn't it amazing how everything is just great? Look at this brown kind of purplish stuff. <laughs> Come on, bros! Join us in the next-